Hi, I'm Tyler Hansen, and this is my 59 pink Cadillac from North Compression, Idaho. Here comes the pink Cadillac, big enough to have a party in the back. Oh, a huge car, huge fins. This is a 1959 Cadillac Series 62, owned by Tyler Hansen of Preston, Idaho, and picked by Ron Helstern, one of our club members. He loved this Natalie Cole song, Pink Cadillac. He says the metal in this beauty could probably make five Toyotas. Great lines from the era when everything was compared to a Cadillac. Hi, I'm Chad. I'm from Preston, Idaho. This is my 68 Chevy truck. Back to the trucks, and you're going to need your sunglasses for this one. Well, that's a bright, bright yellow on that 68 Chevy C10. That's owned by Chad Checkets from Preston, Idaho. And Brent Allenbach, president of the Saddleback Harley Davidson, picked that. And he says, What's not to love about a restored 68 Chevy pickup truck? Clean on the undercarriage as it is on top. Very clean engine as well. Beautiful. My name is Sandra and this is I'm from Boise, Idaho and this is my 55 Buick known as Tune Special. Don't see a lot of Buicks, see a lot of Fords and Chevys in the 50s, not a lot of Buicks. Well, I gotta tell you, I love the senior makes, if you will. This one's a 55, and they call it a Tune Special. Blue and gray, owned by Santa Cron of Boise, Idaho, picked by Matt Barton, one of our members. He says he loves the hand-painted interior and that it's so original. Hi, we're Eric and Diana Swartzen, and this is our 1968 Camaro. If you're at a red light and this pulls up next to you and revs, just let him go. Yeah, I think I'll just stand on the brakes. Black and white, 68 Chevy Camaro, owned by Eric Swartzen of Hyde Park, Utah, picked by Jace Zillis, one of our members. He says he likes it because it looks so muscly and the way it sounds, which you can hear right now, and sits. I'm Dan Gore from Centerville, Utah with the 1972 Cutlass. Oldsmobile with the top down. This gold car was owned by Dan Bouyer of Clearfield, Utah. Stewart Specialty Services, one of our sponsor picks it. Oh yeah, they've got the crew in there now, don't they? Stewart Specialty says it's a great match to my favorite movie. We hope you don't get a month's out in the middle of nowhere. Great car. Hello there, my name is Mike and this is Bernie Ferreira and we're from Bernal, Utah. And this is our 37 Ford replica that we spent a few years building. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're having a great time here and we're glad to be here. Now, this one was one of my favorites looking at him earlier. Mike and Bernadette Ferreira, Bernal, Utah, owns this car. It's a 1937 five window coupe with a real heavy chop on it. Josh Zillis, one of our members, picked it and he said he likes the amazing detail and the fact that the owner's done all the work in his garage. Quite a liquor. It's only been done for a week now. One week and they Hi, I'm Dennis Anderson from Smithfield, Utah, and this is my 1966 Chevelle. Yeah, here's another one of those American classics. You gotta love the muscle cars. This one's a 66 Chevy Chevelle SS, picked by Dennis Anderson, or pardon me, owned by Dennis Anderson of Smithville, Utah, picked by Jay Creasy, one of our members. Says very clean under the engine, nice paint job. Hi, I'm Dustin Yates. I'm with Brigham City Fire. I'm here with the 1917 American LeFrance, Brigham City's first fire truck. 
They've had to call out the fire department. It's been so hot this weekend. Well, this one would get you there in style now, wouldn't it? This one is a 1917 American La France Type 75. I'm sure you all recognize that. Fire engine owned by the Brigham City Fire Department. And it was picked by Amco Transmission, Doyle Zollinger, one of our sponsors. He says this is their first fire truck, Brigham City's first fire truck. We may have our youngest owner coming up now. This 1950 Dodge pickup is owned by Austin Ford, age 11, out of Kaysville, Utah. Larry and Elisa Lynn picked it. They said Austin's 11 years old. The truck belonged to his great grandfather, and Austin mowed lawns to get the money for new tires and wheels and to pay for today's entry fee. Austin mowed lawns to get the money. Hi, this is Bruce and Cindy Brandon. We're from Sandy, Utah, and this is my 1968 Dodge Dart GTS. And we saw that bright yellow earlier. This one a little more subdued, but just as nice. 1968 Dodge Dart GTS owned by Bruce and Cindy Brandall of Sandy, Utah, picked by Jim Price of Jack's Wax of Arizona. He said Bruce had this car since he was 16, and it was restored in 2004. My wife likes that. Bruce and Cindy got married. Mike Reisenauer, we're out of Dickinson, North Dakota. This is my 1950 Merc. Look at the paint job on this beauty. Oh, you gotta love the flames, the natural flames on the front of that 1950 Merc Coupe lead sled owned by right Mike, uh, pardon me, Ike Reisenauer of Dickinson, North Dakota. Picked by Chris Dobson, one of our members, and he picked it because it looks great. Uh, it's a nice car inside and out. 